So hello everybody, how are you today? Today's video is going to be about flow, not about Power BI, because I tweeted on the weekend that I was doing flows on my couch with the mobile and I want to show you how. I'm going to show you a, a um, one of the flows that I created to help me manage my work and it is, um, I have a form on curva.com, you see it here, it is um, you go to curva.com, you click on here and you'll see that it is a form that allows you to request videos. You say, oh, could you do a video about, I don't know, all except or, you know, a video about bookmarks or whatever it is. So I have had these running for quite a while on the YouTube channel and uh, I want to manage it better. Here's the thing, when I work on YouTube, I use a program called Trello, looks like Trello, looks like this where I have boards and then I have, I put ideas, video ideas. So now I have created a community tab where when you fill in the form, the ideas will come in in there. So when I am going to do a video and I review my Trello board, I have them here already and I don't have to do anything. Super cool. And all of this you can do from the form, from the phone, phone from the mobile phone. So here's the thing download the flow app it is wonderful i find doing flows on the mobile easier i don't know why so here's the thing you go in here you click plus and create from blank and uh, here's what i do i write the name of the program that i want to do automation for in this case is forms and uh, it will give you the actions for whatever programs I have about forms. In this case, it's Microsoft Forms. It says when a new response is submitted, form ID, it is the request equivalent video, done. And then create a new step, add action. This is how I did it. So you can see, I mean, form has become so much better than before. In the beginning, I found it that it was a little bit too much for developers not anymore take it back this is wonderful so again i do the same thing forms and then it shows all the actions about forms and here you have get response details so when a new response is submitted get the details of that and here it is request a curval video done and here's the funny thing it says request response id and he says i don't have anything to show you here see more I select that and then forums tell me this is the way you should do it. You were doing it wrong. So if you want to get the least responses, you should do apply to each. Oh, this, this is just fantastic. Okay, so now we have the response details from, from whatever you fill in the form. Click on, add action. And now we're going to send the form responses to Trello. So I'm going here. If you're not using Trello, give it a go. Wonderful program. Trello. And we're going to create a card, create a card. And here it says board ID, it is uh, YouTube. And then we have parent list, it is community. So all your requests will go to the community board. And then card name, it is, what is the video about? So you see power, it is, is it power query, is it DAX, is it whatever it is. And then we have the description, which is what the video should be about, like do a video on calculate or do a video on buttons or whatever it is. And in the beginning, when I created this flow, I actually sent the responses to my email, but I have no use to have the responses of my email. Here's the thing. When I had it before this, I had it on Power BI and then I was sending I was getting alerts from Power BI when you guys filled in, but I didn't get the results and I thought it was a pity. I want to see the results right away, but I don't want to have them on email. I just want to have a notification where I can see what you wrote and then send it to Trello. And this is what's going to happen. If you go here to add and then you see notifications, a mobile notification, super cool. I will show you in another video how to get the notifications by email with another form where I do have, want to have them by email, but here I don't. I just want to, know, I want to know that you sent me something, I want to know what it is, and send it to Trello. Uh, and here is card description. So card description is what is the video about. 
And that's it. Link. And then we have to create a name. So this is uh, Kurbal Worm Ideas to Trello. I, 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 to Trello. And then create. And this is going to create a flow. Yay! Oh, this is so cool. Uh, and now we're going to test it. So we're going to, again, we were in curva.com on the forum, and we're going to do, I want to have a artificial intelligence, the key influencer visual. Visual. So, submit. Now <laughs> you cross your fingers. You see, key influencers AI. Awesome. And then if I go to Trello, There you have it. And the reason that I get two is because I already have it running. I have, you know, I already have this flow. So I, we go two with different, different topics. But uh, here you see, I key influencer visual, and here you say key influencer visual, I use so it just mixed. So this is how easy you can create flows. So if you are on a train, or if you commute to work with buses or whatever, or you're, I mean, it, it, you can just, make your work easier. I love the app. I, I think it's wonderful. I'm going to do more videos. I have actually managed to automate a process that I was before. I'm not using that anymore, but I was thinking about using a service that was paid service. Not anymore. I, I've done it with Flow and I'm going to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment box which awesome flows you are creating and I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.